Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. Hope your week is going well. Uh, sorry I haven't done readings uh, yesterday. Oh, I don't think I did one the day before either. Um, it's been a, a rough few days. Um, day before, I had to get my COVID uh, booster shot in the morning i was scheduled in the morning so that messed up my day i couldn't do the reading then and then yesterday morning i just woke up and i was just in such a depressed mood and you know i don't know if you've all ever had that i i get that rarely but uh, it does happen and i just woke up in just such a one of those moods where i just didn't feel like getting out of bed and it's not really feeling ill from the shot, although now I'm starting to feel kind of the after effects of that a little bit. Not too bad, but just a little. But anyway, um, so today I'm back. Uh, now on the Christmas video, which, by the way, I was I was a little disappointed with the outcome. Um, it's gotten 50 something views which is good but only like seven likes out of all that and that kind of bummed me out i thought it was a little bit better video than than that but anyway in the video um i showed this bell jar which i got and at the time, I didn't know the name of what it was called. I figured it had a real official name other than just, you know, Bell Jar. And it does. The official name is Cloche. It's French. So it's C-L-O-C-H-E. Um, but yes, this is a Cloche. So... Just thought I'd add that. And today I'm going to do something special. For those of you who uh, watched the Christmas video and left a comment, I'm going to give you all a free card of each of your own. And I might do that once in a while. Not, not on a regular basis, but once in a while. And you, you never know when it's going to happen. But if you leave a comment in the chat or in the, in the comment section, then um, I might just uh, pull your name and give you a card on the spot. You never know when I might do it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Comments are always appreciated. Since I'm going to be doing, well, I got five comments on that video, so there'll be five cards drawn plus the one card for everybody. So I'm doing it this way. So here is the card for everybody. Okay, you have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. And the meaning for that is, when this card is reversed, it shows a significant recovery from the regret as well as proper acceptance of your past. You are beginning to realize all the implications of your actions and you have finally come to appreciate the lessons which can be learned from what you experienced. You may have even started to recognize the overall value 
of the painful experience you've had in the larger scheme of things. You are seeing that the suffering and grief you endured gave you the strength and imbued you with resilience. You are ready to pick up the two remaining cups which are still full and go on with your life in full force. For love, it's time to stop living in the past. This card is the card of moving on. It can let go of past grief and suffering. If you've recently gone through a breakup, this card can be a welcome sight to help motivate you to accept what has happened and to make peace with it. As this chapter closes on your life, you are making room for new love to appear, one that truly lives in the present and is not comparing you to uh, current potential romances with the past. If you're still healing, it's only natural. Give yourself time and be gentle. You will find happiness again. If you're already in a relationship, you may well have just gone through a tense period. Hopefully you and your partner will have had all the discussions you've needed in order to feel like you both understand and heard. Try not to dwell on past hurts and resentments. Look forward to the future and what you two can change instead of what you cannot. For career. This is a sign of recovery. When it comes to your career, if you've recently suffered a setback like the loss of a job, a layoff, or had a business go underwater, the reverse Five of Cups suggests that you have what you need in order to move past these terrible times. You are able to recoup some of your losses now. Healing is on the way. You may realize that despite the suffering that you experienced, these losses allowed you to find a position that was much better suited to you. It is also likely that the stress and pain you have been experiencing as a result of these troubles will start to weigh on you less heavily. Financially, if you've recently experienced some financial loss or turmoil, the reverse Five of Cups can signify relief and an end to that period. You may be finding new paths to financial stability by overcoming the losses that you experienced. Maybe you salvaged the remainder of your resources to invest in something worthwhile, like a business or a side gig, that is helping you to build your financial cushion. Be proud of what you have overcome. Now for the readings for the people that left comments on the video. Debbie, here's a card for you. It's reversed, though. It is the King of Wands. The negative aspect of the card is associated, as you may guess, with a feeling of arrogance. Sorry, Debbie. <laughs> he can be rather aggressive in the actual pursuit of his goals, regardless of whether he's actually conscious or not of it. He wouldn't show restraint or even the humbleness to know when his assistance isn't actually required. When reversed, the card depicts a personality which is prone to taking rash, impulsive, and hasty decisions. This person could be pushy, overbearing, as well as dominating at times. Even though he might rarely do this with a sense of malice or with the, an intention to make someone feel submissive, this is without a doubt a part of his character that one can be frustrated at. It can represent the worst spectrum of the qualities of the fire. Selfishness and ruthlessness. He can be manipulated as long as you are serving his purpose. With this in mind, the card definitely points out strong and weak aspects, and reflecting on his image can help you dig deeper into your personality. Boy, that was a very good Debbie. Sorry about that. <laughs> now... Next one is for Sherry. Sherry has the Two of Cups. 
To see the Two of Cups is an indication of a partnership that is built upon the union of forces, a strong connection and a balanced and equal partnership. The exchange of cups suggests that each partner's emotions are intertwined with the others, and each participant's feelings have profound effects upon the other. A strong pair is indicated here, the joy of two becoming one. When it comes to work, you may notice that the people around you will start to appreciate you more. There is a mutual respect here, meaning that you also be more comfortable in your workplace. If you are looking for a new job opportunity, this card may be a good sign. In terms of love, this card represents commitment, a balanced relationship, and love. But this does not simply mean that you would no longer need to nurture your love to make it last. The card only signifies that true love and affection is present. In your finances, the Two of Cups is associated with fairness and balance. This means that you are currently financial capable and you have the right amount of money to deal with your obligations. In relationship with your health, people who are currently fa facing some health issues need to look for a practitioner that would be more comfortable working with and whom they can trust. In spirituality, it is a call for you to be more endearing and loving toward the others. You are receiving positive energy from the universe and you need to share that energy. Good card, Sherry. And now we have uh, Jill. And Jill's card is And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune turns evermore, seemingly to communicate that life is, is made up of both good and bad times, and that the cycle is one we cannot control. It is something that is subjected to both kings and workers, and that nobody on earth can avoid what is fated. When you have good moments in your life, make sure that you enjoy it to the fullest, for what comes up must always go down. The same is true in reverse. When you are in a bad situation, things will eventually become better again. The same forces that govern the changing of the seasons or the rising and setting of the sun is also the master of luck and the fate of individuals. Where it lands is as random as chance. You may find yourself at either the top or bottom, but remember that no matter what the outcome, it may not last for very long, for the wheel always turns. Then we have Thomas. Thomas's card is. Oh, Thomas has the Ace of Cups, but it's reversed. And that means when the Ace of Cups is overturned, the image here is clearest. The water pours out of the cup, it becomes empty. The gift of his waters are being wasted. Seeing the Ace of Cups upside down during your reading means that you have been enduring emotional instability or pain for some time. There is a loss that is indicated here, and perhaps something that has meant much to you is no longer given you the joy that it once had. Since the Cups also govern creativity, you may be experiencing a creative block of sorts, and where the waters of inspiration once flowed, they have now dried up. In all these cases, you must examine who or what is in control of the cup, which party allowed it to overturn, what can you do to place it upright again. So there you have it, Thomas. Sorry about that. It could be better. And finally, we have Kim. And here's the card for Kim. Oh. And it's the reverse two of pentacles. And that means the two of pentacles is a card about balance. 
The coins are displayed in a manner that is precarious. Any small change in wind or weight can tip and send them falling. For those that may have more coins to go around, they can afford to be less careful. But at this moment, things may be tight. Wealth, too. It is kind of an energy, and it's the kind that's going in and going out are easiest and most tangible to see. There's a possibility that you are trying hard to keep the two aspects of your life in a perfect and delicate balance. This could be your career, money, love, and health. The balancing act depicted in this card suggests that there are two major factors that you are deeply concerned about. It is time for you to step back to have a better perspective of the situation. While you may initially think it will save you time, multitasking may just worsen the situation. Cut down on your tasks and concentrate on those two factors that are troubling you. You've done a good job keeping things stable for you seem to be able to adapt well to all the changes that's been asked you to continually rebalance. When it comes to love, the Two of Pentacles is associated with your inability to provide the energy and time required to make your partner happy. Your partnership should be your main priority, but with all the madness in other areas of your life, you are finding it hard to devote your attention to your loved ones. With regards to finances, you should pay heed on the bottom line. You should have a clear picture on your, of your financial state. Plan on your finances accordingly. Control your expenditures and increase your stream of income to s create a solid foundation for your future. In terms of health, this card is asking you to find a balance between your own well-being and your responsibilities. It's easy to make yourself the last priority when you have so many things happening around you. So I'm not going to do a segment today, per se, but I, I've been taking a few little short clips around uh, the house these last few days of different things, our first snowfall and a few other things, and I'm just going to play those clips um, right here. Now this first clip is the first snow we got. Okay, it's November 30th, and it's the first snow of this winter. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> Just had to share that. This was the first snow that actually stuck. We've had flurries, but this one actually stuck. Didn't last long, but it did stick for a little while. Okay, now this clip or clips, I should say, show uh, the um, the bulbs that I had started. And it's uh, I'm getting ready to water them for the first time after putting them in, in the refrigerator. I guess that would be their second watering. I watered them when I put them in. But uh, this is their second watering and show you their progress. Okay. Um, it's been uh, almost two weeks since uh, I put these bulbs in their containers and I want to show you that uh, some of these hyacinths, oh let's focus there, are sprouting already. There that one focused. And these crocuses are starting to come up too. And it's only been two weeks. Uh, these other things, not yet. And some of these hyacinths, not quite yet. That one's not doing anything. But uh, I'm getting ready to water them and throwing them back in the refrigerator. Just wanted to update you all. 
And as you can see, there's roots and stuff forming on them. That's always a good sign. And this last clip is just a little jump scare that I've been getting. And you'll see that here. Sorry for the background noise, Albert sweeping. But I swear, I've had this thing down here for a day. And every time I see it, it gives me a heart attack. Standing right here in the middle of the dining room. <laughs> and it's as tall as I am, too. Well, its hat is. So, yeah, I keep seeing this figure in here, and it, it, whoo, I, I jump. <laughs> Beware of the toy soldier. Okay, well, uh, I want to thank you all for joining me and um, until hopefully tomorrow I will see you all again peace believe and bye bye